Hello everyone, we're live for another fun live build, and today we're going to be building the Lego Marvel Super Heroes Rhino Face-Off by the Mine. This is a really cool set from the upcoming Black Panther movie, and I'm super excited to be building this with you guys because it's been quite a while since we've done a live stream. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, when's your next live stream? When's your next live stream? Well, the day has come, I'm back. I can see a ton of people hopping into the chat. Feel free to say hi, feel free to ask questions. I'll be building this set, but I'll also be taking all your questions live and you know that's my favorite part about this anyway. So um, let's go ahead and get started then. Um, let me just grab my X-Acto knife and we can open up the set. Uh, let me know if you guys have, got, guys have gotten a chance to pick up any of the 2018 sets. I just grabbed this one quickly because I knew it would be a perfect one for the live stream. But um, I'm definitely looking forward to picking up even more of these sets. Um, it just, it's sometimes hard because there's so many sets that come out in January, so it's kind of hard to prioritize them. But, you know, we got to do what we can, obviously. So let's see, we've got one, uh, two, three bags here, two sets of instructions, a sticker sheet that just flew out from nowhere. I love uh, a good sticker sheet. Everyone does, right? <laughs> um, let me go ahead and grab, this is instruction booklet one. I'm just getting a little bit organized here, so give me a quick second, and then we can get started. So, let's see. Caleb Heffernan asks, if you could have any more Black Panther sets, what scenes would I like to see? Hmm, that's a good question. Obviously, I haven't seen too much of the movie yet, but from the trailer, there's this really great kind of battle scene by the falls, and I sort of feel like that would be a really cool one to get, just because there's so many great minifigure designs there. So that's certainly something that interests me, and that's probably what I'll say for right now. Let me go ahead and dump out all the parts, all the pieces. Gotta get ready. It always takes a second. All right, Ryan Burns, I'm just gonna adjust my camera angle down a bit. I feel like this is a little bit easier for you guys to see what I'm working on. So Ryan Bernstein asks, thoughts on The Last Jedi? So I'm not gonna give any spoilers. This is, let's keep everything spoiler free, but I really did like The Last Jedi. I mean, I think I probably liked The Force Awakens a little bit better, but it wasn't because The Last Jedi wasn't a good movie but it's because Force Awakens was such a fun return to the Star Wars universe and getting to see those characters and some of the classic characters again. But this was a really great one. I really enjoyed the story and I definitely saw it a little bit later than I would have liked. So I'm super glad that I remained spoiler free until I saw it. So that was what I was most excited about. <laughs> All right, QJ Music 040 asks, thoughts on Justice League. So I did see Justice League. Um, I saw it um, not too long after the movie came out, and it wasn't my favorite movie. Let's take a quick look at Black Panther, though. Pretty cool. Um, I love, look at how metallic the blue is. Um, no spoilers, guys. I, I keep it spoiler-free for sure. Justice League wasn't my favorite. I still think that there's some nice parts about it, and there's certainly some, like, I can appreciate where they were going in certain aspects. So, I wouldn't say, uh, you know, don't see it ever, but, you know, if you want to wait to see it, you can wait. <laughs> Let's see. Is that T'Challa or is this Eric Killmonger? So this is the classic Black Panther in one of his newer suits from the movie. So this isn't uh, Killmonger. All right. Let's get started building a little bit, and then I'll take another question. David Santiago asks... Um, what sets am I looking forward to this year? So I'm definitely looking forward to the Avengers Infinity War sets. Those are definitely some, I mean, superhero sets in general are some of my favorites, but I'm really looking forward to the Avengers sets, especially because it's such a culmination of all the different movies that we've seen up until this point, and there's so many good minifigures coming. So there's been a lot of leaks. Um, uh, Fritz asks, when do I think the Avengers Infinity set, uh, War sets will be revealed? And my assumption is that they'll be revealed in conjunction with um, the Nuremberg Toy Fair that we see every year. So uh, I know there's some leaked photos that are kind of going around, but I haven't seen the Infinity War ones yet. But I'm super excited to be getting the official pictures, and you, can, and you know for sure that I'll be bringing you guys a fun little video whenever that happens. Let's see. Do you plan on streaming any Ninjago TV sets? Um, you know, I... 
I'm, I haven't decided. A lot of the sets definitely look pretty cool, but I haven't decided which, if any of them, I'm going to be picking up. Just because I bought a lot of Ninjago movie sets. So I have a lot of Ninjago right now, and I like to... Ninjago typically isn't a, se a series that I collect a ton of. But um, yeah, like Lego Ninjago, XVX, do I have some of the Ninjago Sons of Garmadon? I don't have any of that yet. I I've been kind of holding off on some of the 2018 sets, just because... I think the holidays put a big dent in my wallet. I, I bought a lot of stuff over the holidays. So I'm trying to uh, be a little bit cautious before I go ahead and buy some of the uh, new 2018 sets. But I did just buy a few of them from Walmart. So stay tuned for a haul video coming soon. All right. Let's see. Which Star Wars movie is your favorite? My favorite is The Last Jedi. That's from Alexander. And Alexander, my favorite is probably... Hmm. I mean, I love A New Hope just because it's such a classic one, but probably one of the originals, maybe Empire Strikes Back. That's a really fun one. All right. Let's see. I am seeing here, do you have any of the new 2018 friend sets from Louise? I don't have any of the new... Uh, 2018 friend sets. I definitely saw some of them at the store though, and there's a lot of good sets this year. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, we, it's an embarrassment of riches how many great 2018 sets we've got going. So I, like I said, I've got a lot on my list, uh, that I need to buy. LPS, LSP Custom says, what is your favorite Lego minifigure? Um, honestly, there's been so many minifigures that have been really amazing. Let me think. I'm going to pick a recent, I'll tell you what my recent favorite Lego minifigure is. And it's probably one of the ones from the uh, Lego Batman Series 2. I really love, I'm a big Superman fan, so I love the Jarrell minifigure and the General Zod minifigure. I was just super excited to get those. Let's see. Tom Sun 2 asks, do you think TT Games should re-release LEGO Dimensions? So a lot of people have been talking about that. Like, what if they did a LEGO Dimensions collection type game? Like, you, um, you get the normal game, they take away the toy pad, they take away the characters, like all the different um, minifigures, and you just get all of them automatically. And I wouldn't hate that. I would really love to have that, especially on my Nintendo Switch, so I can play all the LEGO Dimensions stuff on the go. So... I would love that, but it's it's a big undertaking and revamping the game to not use the um, the what you call it the toy pad is going to be very challenging. So, you know, I, I wouldn't expect to see it super soon, um, just especially because it was all just canceled and everything. But I wouldn't be surprised if we if we saw it ever. So, take that for what you will. <laughs> Let's see. I just oops, I keep hitting my camera. Sorry, guys. Fritz asks, did you see Thor Ragnarok? And if so, did you like it? I really, really liked it. Um, honestly, it was such a departure from the Thor series, just in terms of it being super funny and super silly. Um, I really loved that. Let's see. Lego Maniac uh, here with a super chat. Thank you so much, Lego Maniac. And we've got a question here. Do you know who the new Samurai X in, is in Season 8? I don't know personally. And if anyone else does, let's keep the chat a little bit spoiler free, just because I know a lot of people and a lot of you guys have been really looking forward to Season 8. So... I think we all want to be surprised, <laughs> but, I, but I'm excited about Season 8 for sure. Let's go ahead and take a question here from the chat. John Lucas Lott says, what would you do if someone sent you the new Bruce Wayne Manor turned into Joker Manor? Wow. If somebody sent that to me, um, I don't know, I'd probably scream, jump up and down. I might shed a, a tear just because I would be so excited. No, honestly, the... The Lego Joker Manor set has been one that I've been super debating about whether I should buy right now because it looks so amazing. I'm such a Lego Batman movie fan. So if someone were to have sent that to me, oh my gosh, that would be insane. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, Legos for Days asks, which Lego set from Amazon for $40? So, hmm. Well, I'd have to know which themes you're into. If it was up to me, I would probably buy the... I forget, is the Harley Quinn Cannonball Attack $40 or $50? But that's the one I'm most interested in right now, so maybe that's me. Vintage Bricks asks, will you buy the Ninjago City Docks direct-to-consumer set? Well, I haven't even bought Ninjago City yet, so I definitely am a little bit behind on the direct-to-consumer sets. It's so hard to buy those big sets. As much as I want them, it's really hard because... You know, with that sort of money, I could get a lot of other smaller sets. But I am very interested in it. 
I definitely, uh, oh, I see here the Harley Quinn set's $50. Oops. Um, then I would probably pick a, a different one from Lego Batman movie, like maybe the Egghead Attack or the Justice League Anniversary Party. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the, the uh, Ninjago City dock set could be really cool. And if it does connect with the Ninjago City set, then that'd be amazing. So here, we've got a question here from Lego Minute, and I think I saw it from someone else too. What is a super chat? So a super chat is when you actually, you make a donation to the channel, which is super generous, and then it shows up kind of in a special display so I can see it. And it's a really great way for me to not miss your question, just because when all the, ch the questions are going by in the chat so quickly, sometimes it's hard for me to get to all of them. So it's a really good way to make your questions stand out. And it's a good way to support the channel. Certainly no pressure either way, but it's really appreciated. All right, let's see. I just missed a question. Uh, let's see. How much was the Lego Black Panther set you're building? So the Lego Black Panther set that I'm building is a very amazing $20. I mean, it's a really good price and it comes with a ton of minifigures. So yeah, that is amazing. All right, Lego Minute says, how do you do a super chat? I'm not sure if you can do it on mobile. I think you might have to be on desktop, but I've never actually um, been on the other side of it. So <laughs> let's see. Sophia Renteria asks, what are the weekly prizes? So I usually give away um, a lot of different sets. I have Lego Dimensions packs that I'll give away. I've got, you know, other sets that I've been holding on to for too long that I'm like, you know what, uh, this has got a better home with you guys. So it varies week to week. And I try to make at least something I think that the person needs, um, but, but it can be anything. <laughs> Let's see. Will you spend $125 and get the 60 year of the brick promotion from Vintage Bricks? Absolutely. That set is one, when I first saw it, I was like, as a collector, I think I need this set. Um, it's definitely one of those sets that is a real good display piece, especially if you're a fan, you know, for a long time. So I'm super excited for that one. I'm definitely going to be picking it up. Let me know if you guys are thinking about that too. Let's see. Um... Alexander says, are you so sad that Lego Dimensions is gone? Yeah, I'm super sad. Honestly, like Lego Dimensions is such a big part of this channel even. I know you guys who have been here, I see, I recognize a lot of you guys in the chat and a lot of you guys have been here with me since, you know, almost the beginning. And Lego Dimensions was a really big foundational reason for why I even started the channel. So yeah, certainly I'm super sad about Lego Dimensions, but you know, Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 is really fun. I was actually just playing a bit of that yesterday. So, you know, luckily we're getting some good stuff. We're not totally missing out on all the fun Lego video game, you know, situations. We're, we're still getting a lot of good stuff. This is like a very tight fit. For some reason, this doesn't fit too well for me. And it doesn't like turn very freely. I don't think I built it wrong, but... I don't know if you can see, it's like very, it's bowing outwards. So I don't know if you guys, any of you guys have this set. Let me know if that happened to you too. Let's see. Uh, Thompson02 asks, do you remember Lego Racers? And absolutely, I remember Lego Racers. I actually had the old video game, but I also collected a bunch of the old sets. A lot of you guys probably aren't even uh, old enough to remember that there was a toy store back in the day called KB Toys. And I remember going there and getting some of the really small, like wind up Lego Racer sets when I was a kid and was super excited about that. Um, let's see. A lot of people have been asking about Han Solo movie sets. So yes, I have seen the leaked pictures, um, and I'll probably be making a video on that soon. Um, looks really cool. Honestly, getting to see some of the character designs and the vehicle designs is making me just excited for the movie in general. So, uh, I'm very excited for the Han Solo sets. I mean, Han Solo is just such an amazing character. I'm certainly a tiny bit nervous of whether this new movie will do the character justice, just because... You know, my my vision, my memory about Han Solo is so dear to me. I would hate if anything came in and, and kind of uh, tarnished my memory of him. Um, so who knows, but I am super excited either way. All right. Let me snap on these wheels. Uh, I got a question here from Dalek Bricks who says, will you ever collab with Just Too Good? Honestly, I would love to collaborate with Just Too Good. Um, you know, we, we do talk sometimes on Instagram. Um, so I, I don't know if we're friends yet or not, but we certainly have talked before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I would love to do something with him. I'd love to do something with a lot of the different, um, you know, the different uh, YouTubers that are out there. There's, I mean, it's a really fun YouTube community and I don't think that we always even collaborate as much as we ought to. So, you know, why not? Certainly I would, I would, Love the opportunity to work with more Lego YouTubers. And of course, I'm realizing that while on the live stream, I messed up the build. That happens sometimes when you're live streaming. I don't know if anyone has ever done a live build, but 
it gets very confusing. You, you, you make mistakes. <laughs> All right, let me get these pieces out of the side. Mason Hagen asks, will I collect Lego Unikitty? So yeah, there is some recent rumors about a Lego Unikitty line, and I'm, I'm very curious about it. I, I've caught a little bit of the show, and it's pretty funny, but um, yeah, I'm curious what the sets will actually look like. Um, I mean, and a lot of the characters have kind of unique cartoon depictions that I'm even curious of how they'll get built out of real Lego. So, I mean, I'll probably pick up something from the theme. Whether I collect the entire theme or not, we'll have to see. All right. Juan Pablo asks, do you think you are going to like the Harry Potter sets? I definitely hope that I will. I mean, I, I think that Lego's done a very good job in the past of doing really, really good Lego Harry Potter sets. I'm on construction book two. So, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think I'm going to like it. I mean, the descriptions alone, I'm very intrigued about. I think that a lot of the sets are far larger than I would have expected, which I'm going to go ahead and say is a pretty good thing. Um, so, yeah, why not? You know, I think, uh, I think they'll be pretty good. Let's see. Um, somebody asks, uh, Elemental Hero William asks, do I have snow? Yeah, I do have snow uh, where I am. All right, let's see. Uh, what is the railway thing meant for? So this is a mine cart. So this slides along this railway uh, and is a mine cart where they mine vibranium, from what I understand. So that's what I believe that's for. And let's, whoops, where is his head? I think uh, he needs a head. And I haven't, oh, there it is. Do you think that they're just going, uh, let's see, I just missed a question. From Ryan Bernstein, do you think Lego Star Wars The Last Jedi video game is coming soon? Um, I don't know that it's coming so soon. I was... I said the same thing when someone was like, oh, what do you think about a Lego Force Awakens game? And I was like, I don't think that'll ever happen. But I was wrong there, so <laughs> I could be wrong here too. I think I just missed a question that I liked. It says, from Vintage Bricks, how big is your Lego backlog? My Lego backlog is really huge. I have a closet full of sets that I haven't built. Um, you know, I haven't built like Benny's spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. I haven't built... Um, the classic 1960s Lego Bat Cave. So I definitely have a lot of sets in my Lego backlog. It's also hard to build all those sets because I don't always have room for them um, where I'm living. So it's, it's easier to keep them in the box than it is to build some of those just until you have room. Let's see. Um, Tanner Troy asks about my favorite part from Star Wars Last Jedi. I'm going to keep this a little spoiler free, so I'm not going to say that yet. Um, let's see. Daryl asks, what do you think about the city... Summer, uh, uh, the tw summer of 2018 Ice Age ex exploration sets. Um, you know, we've seen the Arctic uh, city theme before, so I'm curious to see if they'll do something different. I know that we did get a, like, um, a mammoth uh, rumor, and so that's very interesting to me. But, yeah. Let's see. Why can't LEGO put the minifigures at the last pack? I think they do it so you have at least one minifigure to build per bag. I think it keeps it maybe more interesting to the average LEGO consumer. That's my assumption. Which Ninjago Sons of Garmadon set should I buy? That's from AJ Bond. And if I had to pick one Ninjago Sons of Garmadon set to buy, I would personally buy the um, the Nightcrawler Lloyd's car. I think it's got a really cool function with the, um, the six stud stud shooters. But honestly, just buy whichever one that you think is a good price and uh, has the characters that you want in it. But I really love that car. Let's see. Uh, Romagnus asks, do you have the Saturn five or four? Um, and I don't have that one yet. And, uh, it's one of those set, like I said, when you want to buy big sets, it's really hard because there's so many good sets out. And so do I buy one big set or do I buy, you know, three smaller sets? So that's why I haven't bu even bought that one yet. Let's see. Um, let's see. Pete H. asks, should I get Downtown Diner or Assembly Square? So, honestly, they're both really good sets. Um, personally, I'm super excited about Downtown Diner just because I think it's a really fresh design. You know, that retro kind of 50s diner, I thought it was super unique. So, that's my vote. But get whichever one you like. Lego Maniac, another super chat. Wow, you're, this, you're so generous. Thank you so much. Do you watch Lego Ninjago TV show? So yes, I do watch the Lego Ninjago TV show. Um, a lot of you guys asked one time, or asked how I got into the show one time. And originally, I hadn't watched the show um, just because I, I don't know, it just fell kind of aside. I didn't have as much time as I do now. And 
But I really started watching it when there was all the rumors about the Lego Ninjago movie coming because I wanted to be able to make the trailer breakdowns and I wanted to be able to know what I was talking about. <laughs> so yeah, that's when I started watching and I just started binging all the series on Netflix. Um, and it's a really, really fun show. My favorite season was probably the Tournament of Elements. And I really want to get all those Tournament of Elements minifigures. Um, I still haven't started collecting them, but those are the ones I'm most interested in. So thank you for your Super Chat question. All right, let's see. Have I seen the trailer for season eight of Ninjago from Brick Star Wars Boy 10? Yes, I have seen the latest trailer. I also saw the original test footage at, um, at uh, Comic-Con and I'm super excited about it. Seems like a really fresh take for Ninjago, kind of um, just a unique new storyline and I'm really excited about it. I, uh, it reminds me a lot of the TV show Sons of Anarchy instead of Sons of Garmadon, and I'm sure they're taking at least a little bit of inspiration from the motorcycle kind of look of everything. So, yeah, super excited about it. Can't wait for it to start. Or can't wait for me to start watching, I should say. Um, cool. Let me look at the chat again. I always look away right when I miss good questions. Um, let's see. Uh, QJ Music 40 asks, if LEGO Dimensions did a year three, what do you think the new themes are going to be? So obviously we know that there's not going to be a year three uh, right now, but I do think um, I do think that they would have done Warner Brothers, like um, cartoon characters. I think that would have been a really easy one. But we heard a lot about uh, Lego Minecraft would have been one and a few others. So, you know, we did hear a little bit more Doctor Who from what I understand. Um, so yeah, it would have been some really good stuff. Lego Maniac, another amazing super chat. Wow, super, super generous. Thank you for all your support says, who is the baby in season eight that Cole has? Yeah, that's a really intriguing question. Um, I don't have the a definitive answer, but my theory um, is that it might be like a baby version of a character that we already know. That's my theory. I, I Honestly, I have no idea what the truth is, but that's what I'm. my prediction is. All right. Uh, Alexander asks, what is my favorite set of 2017? What is my favorite minifigure of 2017? Wow. Um, honestly, I think the Lego Batman movie had some of the best sets of 2017, certainly some of the best sets ever. Um, I think my favorite Lego Batman movie set is probably um, the Batwing. I think minifigures-wise, it could be slightly stronger, but I think build-wise, and it's just such a substantial build. I really loved that set. And then I really loved a lot of the minifigures from Lego Batman, uh, Poison Ivy, Harley Quinn, just some really, really good ones. Up. Optimi Maximi asks, do you think the Jurassic World theme is too mature for the Juniors line? So yeah, you know, I I definitely threw out that question in my news video about it because, you know, the original movie is rated PG-13, so it was a bit surprising to me when I originally saw that Juniors and Duplo sets were coming out for the line. I mean, certainly it makes sense just from a toy sales perspective. You know, dinosaurs have always done really well as a toy, and so I think why not give them to more age groups. But yeah, that was a bit surprising. Um, that was a bit surprising for me. Let's see. Um, what direction is Lego taking the DC line after the Batman movie? That's from T to the T. I, uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure. We did get that most recent line of Justice League theme sets, you know, ones with the Flash and Reverse Flash and all that sort of stuff. So I'm guessing we're going to go back to more standard Lego DC fare soon. Um, there is some rumors about Lego DC in the new year and some kind of more interesting characters that we haven't seen in a while. There is some more Lego Batman, but not Lego Batman movie. So I think Batman is just such a draw. It's been really successful Lego for Lego in the past. So Batman will definitely be in it. Zilch Productions asks, do you think they'll ever make sets off the Flash TV series? Honestly... We've talked about this a lot on my live streams, and it's something I would personally really love. I'm a huge fan of the DC TV universe. I, I watch all the shows, and The Flash is probably my favorite by far. So I personally would really love it. Do I think they're going to do it? <sighs> I mean, I think it's getting less and less likely as the days go on. They keep making characters from Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow as exclusive Comic-Con-only characters, which makes me a little nervous that they'll never get around to it. So... I guess you never know, but my theory is most likely not. Eric agrees with me here. <laughs> All right. Have I seen the Infinity War figs? That's from Sean Nisley. Yes, I have seen the Infinity War figs. Looks really good. 
Pete H asks, do you watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or like Marvel? I love Marvel, um, and I also watch Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's one of those shows that I definitely fell out of for a little bit, but I started kind of binge-watching and catching up on, and I really, really like it again now. It's one of those shows that I think probably everyone started writing off because they were like, oh, you know, that show wasn't so good for a bit. I think I'll be done. But if you've been, if you stopped watching it, start watching it again because it's got, it's gotten really, really good. Um, the whole thing with the framework and the new series, I'm a uh, new season. I'm really, really into it all. So let me know if you guys watch that too. All right. Uh, Brick Star Wars. Uh, I just, oops, you just scrolled by way too fast. Let's see. Brick Star Wars Boy 10. What do you think of the Lego costume series? I'm really excited about the Lego costume series. Uh, certainly the Lego, um, what's the word? Uh, the costume character is always a very popular one in each series. So, you know, I, I don't hate the idea. I think technically this is being called like a birthday party series. So, because there's like a birthday boy and a birthday girl and a clown. So it's not quite a costume character series, but um, honestly, some of the designs sound really fun. So I can't wait to see it. Let's see. I wonder if you could use this track with the roller coaster pieces from Joker Manor. T to the T, to the T you can. So get excited. All right. Um, when is the Lego Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom sets going to be revealed? I think a lot of these 2018 sets you're going to see at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. So we get tons of reveals every year at the Nuremberg Toy Fair. So stay tuned. I definitely think that this is coming. All right. Do I like the Lego Infinity War Thanos? That's from LSP Custom Customs. And I don't exactly. Um, I think, I wish they would have made a new head mold. I mean, that's just the obvious thing. <laughs> Let's see. Benjamin Sagman asks, have you gotten the Ninjago movie on Blu-ray? So I did not get the Ninjago movie on Blu-ray only because there was no special promotional figure that I was interested in. Um, obviously, there wasn't one included at all, which was kind of disappointing to me because I always really look forward to those. So I ended up buying it. Amazon actually just had it. Um, for only $9.99, so that's like half off uh, just the digital version, and so that's the version I bought. Let's see. Do you think that Anakin Skywalker will return in Star Wars Movie 9? Um, I don't think so. That's from Tanner Troy. I don't think so. Let's see. Just Too Good just posted a video called Lego Batman the Joker Batcave Attack. Oh, I think that's that new junior set. Let's see. Um, all right, Benjamin might buy it for ten dollars. The Lego Ninjago movie. Yeah, I mean it, it's good to have it on digital anyway. You know, I mean now with the Movies Anywhere app, it's a really good way to watch all your movies. Um, so not sponsored. <laughs> Let's see. What's your favorite set of the new Star Wars wave? Um, that's a good question. I don't know. The last Jedi sets for some reason I haven't been super duper excited about. Not because they're not good at all, but. I don't know. I just I think collecting Star Wars gets to be a bit much. There's so many sets and there's a lot of repeats. So I've kind of backed away from my Lego Star Wars collecting. Um, if I had to pick one set, um, I don't know. I, I For some reason, nothing's coming to mind. I'm much more interested in the superhero sets right now. Oh, um, Benjamin Sag Sagman says the one with Ray and Luke on the island is really overpriced. I think that's probably the one I'm most excited about just because I really want those figures. So I guess that's what I'll say. All right. Am I going to get any of the Jurassic World 2 sets? That's from Alexander. And if I'm going to see it, I'll definitely see it. I didn't, I didn't prioritize seeing uh, Lego Jurassic World 1, so I saw it kind of late. But, um, yeah, I mean, I definitely, I'll definitely see it. Why not? Let's see. Uh, Hayfid Garcia asks, do you want Lego Muppets? Um, I would never say no to Lego Muppets. I'm a huge Muppet fan in general. So, uh, I think it'd kind of be funny. I think it would maybe be best in a collectible minifigure series just because I'm not so sure how well those sets would sell. Um, you know, I've seen, they've had, uh, Lego Muppets, or not Lego Muppets, uh, Muppets action figures and other sorts of toy things that I've seen before. And they never seem to be like flying off shelves, um, at least back in the day. So, my assumption is that it might be better as a, as part of the Disney series too, if we ever get that one. Lego should release at Comic Con 2018 of the Spider Man homemade homecoming suit. Yeah, I really think that was a huge, um, a huge miss. I think that that homemade suit was really important to the plot, and I'm really sad that we never got it. Benjamin Sagman says, you pumped for Incredibles 2? Yeah, I'm incredibly pumped. That was a terrible joke. Um, no, I'm super, super uh, pumped for it, only because I think that Incredibles was such a great kind of world, and I was sad that we didn't get more of it. I was actually surprised it never got turned into a TV series. I almost feel like that would have been obvious. 
Um, all right, we've got the first sticker of the set coming up in a second. Um, let me take one more question. Um, am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing a couple parts that I forgot to put down. Let's see. Oh, no, that's this step. Um, do I like the new Iron Spider suit from Juan Pablo Molina? Yeah, actually, it looks pretty neat. I'm not so sure um, exactly how it will play in the movie, um, just because um, it, it's very different from most of the Iron Spider suits that we've gotten before. It's, you know, and it's kind of more Iron Man-esque, uh, which is pretty cool, but it's more streamlined, like a regular Spider-Man suit. So I'm very intrigued by it, for sure. Let's see. What is your opinion on the Champions Pack for LEGO Marvel 2 from Thompson02? Honestly, it's really great to get more content no matter what. It's a lot of different characters that I don't think that we often get in LEGO form, so I always love when we get new characters in the video games, even if we never get them as a LEGO set. Um, and, yeah, I mean, there's so many new movies coming out and so many new characters that it's fun to get these kind of... Um, one -off, I mean, like, get one-off versions of these characters in the video game, characters that we'd probably never get in a set. So I always like when there's more um, more characters and love a good character pack. And it makes my season pass worth a little bit more the more that we end up getting it, getting in the season pass. All right. Let's see. I just missed a good question. Are the rhinoceros legs in the set the same as the Lego Dino Triceratops from James Woodcock? I'm not so sure. Um, I never had the Triceratops, but it is the same legs as the um, that one uh, creature from... Lego Force Awakens, so it is the same one as that. All right, we're getting down to it for this main section of the body, and I think I'm ready for the last bag. All right, uh, do, uh, do I wanna see Lego make a Nickelodeon or Cartoon Network minifigure collection? That's um, from Rainio Medina, and you know, I think it'd be fun for sure, um, but yeah, I, I don't know, I think that a lot of I don't know a lot of the newer um, like Cartoon Network characters the way you guys always do. So for me, I would much rather have like a classic Nickelodeon one, like with Rugrats and and Hey Arnold and that sort of stuff, than any of the new stuff. Let's see. I think I just saw a really good tweet from Benjamin. Not a tweet, comment. We're almost at twenty thousand subs. Yeah, guys, we are almost there. Honestly, you guys are the reason that I even have any small amount of success on YouTube, but hitting 20,000 would certainly mean a lot to me. And you guys are a really, really, really important part of how I've even gotten this far. So thanks for all the support for sure. All right. We've got new people jumping in left and right, but we've got a question here from QJ Music. Do you like the new DC superheroes sets? And in general, I do. Um, some of the builds aren't my favorite. Um, you know, particularly uh, like Cyborg's helicopter is not especially great. Um, the Killer Frost car is, in my opinion, one of the weaker vehicles that we've gotten. I mean, considering we've had some really great sets with some great vehicles from the line before, like one of my favorite underrated sets I always thought was the Lego Bat or Lego DC Superheroes um, Scarecrow's Harvest of Fear. I really loved that set, and I thought it was such a great build. The Scarecrow's Combine Vehicle was great. The Farmer's Tractor was really great. And then um, Batman's Helicopter was also really great. So I know they have it in them. Uh, we could definitely... I mean, they're trying to keep the price point down, so maybe it was a little bit of that, but who knows. What set am I most excited for next year from Paola Z? Um, uh, there's so many sets coming out, so it's hard to pick just one. I think... Hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm really excited for the new Star Wars sets from Han Solo. Um, a lot of that stuff looks really good. But uh, obviously, it's all leaks right now. But a lot of new character designs, which I'm really looking forward to. And just kind of curious to see what that movie's like in general. All right. Ninjago or Nexo Knights from AJ Bond. I would probably say Ninjago only because I'm really... I just don't even know that much about Nexo Knights. It was just, I, I, you know, I, like I said, I got into Ninjago mostly because of the upcoming movie, you know, when the movie was coming out, because I wanted to make sure I had some background for you guys. So, and in turn, I really liked it. Um, but, I, but honestly, I've always really liked a lot of the Lego sets for Nexo Knights. I always love looking at those when I go to the store. Um, so, yeah. Um, T to the... T asks, do I have any leaks that I keep secret? I don't have any leaks. Nobody sent me any leaks. Um, so I don't I, I don't have any uh, any secrets that you guys don't know about. You guys probably know even more about all that than I do. 
All right. We've got a comment here from Pete H. If we reach, uh, what is that, 1 billion subs, will I do a fa face reveal? Yeah, if we ever reach a billion subs, I will gladly do I'll probably have done it way before then, if it's a billion. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, do I watch Gotham? I watched uh, the beginning of the first season, but I stopped watching just because, um, I don't know, I wasn't totally hooked, but I did hear it got a lot uh, better in some of the later seasons, like some of the big villain seasons that they had. So I'm certainly not opposed to the idea of watching it again, but I, I'm i not caught up and I probably won't be anytime soon. <laughs> All right. This is always the pressure, guys. I always hate putting on stickers with everyone watching. It's very strenuous. <laughs> and circular stickers are so hard because it's so hard to get it perfectly centered into the sticker. Like, I always try to keep, like, that consistent um, edge along all the sides. That's how I usually tell that I'm in the right place. But, yeah, I always find these circular stickers to be really hard. Let me know if you guys agree that circular stickers are really hard. Because at least with a straight sticker, I know it's on straight, but I think with a circular sticker, they get kind of twisted, and it's hard to know, and then it's hard to center them, and it's hard to fix them. So honestly, I think that's pretty good. I'm not sure how much better I could have done. <laughs> Let's see. I missed a couple comments here. Uh, Thompson02 says, I hope 2018 goes well for you in the channel. Thank you very much. That really means a lot to me. Honestly, all your support always means a lot to me. Uh, what other Batman villains do you hope are made in Lego? Um, there's, a, I mean, there's a lot of really good Batman villains that we haven't gotten, and also different versions of Batman villains um, that we haven't gotten. I know, like, in the Lego Flash movie trailer, there was, like, a killing joke Joker, and we got a very similar one in uh, the Lego Batman movie collectible minifigures series 2, but it would be cool to get kind of characters from different runs of Batman. I think that'd be kind of fun. Like, I would love a Batman Beyond set, for instance. Let's see. Do I want Marvel to make a crossover with DC? I mean, I think that'd be fun, and it's happened in the past. I actually have a comic in my collection that is Superman and Spider-Man together. So it has happened in the comics, but I don't think we'll be seeing it in the movies anytime soon. But maybe that's just my opinion. All right. Thoughts on the Infinity War sets, Henry Vargas? Uh, honestly, I think that the Infinity War sets look really... Um, they sound very good. I haven't seen them. I know there are some leaks going around, but I have not seen them yet. But they sound pretty good. I was trying not to read too much into them because supposedly there was some spoilery, you know, text in the description. So I'd like to stay spoiler free for the movie as much as I can. But obviously those sets will come out before the movie. I will eventually probably see those spoilers um, if there are any. So you never know. You never know. Who is my favorite Marvel superhero or villain? Um, I mean, I've always been a big Spider-Man fan. That was super, you know, important to me growing up. I've always been a big X-Men fan. I grew up watching the old 90s Spider-Man and X-Men cartoons, which are actually on Hulu, if you guys have Hulu. Um, but I, I really loved those shows, and they got me super into those characters and those, um, you know, those worlds. There was even crossovers between those two shows. So if you are looking for some classic... Uh, comic book television to watch, I highly recommend the Spider-Man and um, X-Men series that are on Hulu. Uh, Juan asks, will I ever show my studio? So I don't really have like a formal studio um, like maybe some of the other YouTubers have. Um, so so it's there, there wouldn't be as much to see. So that's why I haven't done it. <laughs> Let's see. Do I want to see a full Back to the Future theme? Uh, that's from Joshua Buck. And yes, I love Back to the Future. We've talked about Back to the Future a bit on this channel even, um, or on my live stream. So a lot of you guys know my love of Back to the Future. But yeah, I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. I would absolutely adore a full series. Um, really, I hope that with LEGO Dimensions being gone, that they don't forget that there's definitely a market for classic you know, 80s or other movies to have as LEGO themes. I know there's some rumors about the... Um, Lego Back to the Future being a part of 2018. So I hope those rumors are true. Because I would love it. Because Back to the Future is probably one of my favorite movies of all time, honestly. I'm a huge Back to the Future fan. All right, this is a really tough sticker because it doesn't seem to want to line up especially well with the bottom edge. So I'm going to add this brick here to help me put on the sticker. Um, what is my favorite Skywalker character in the Star Wars movies? Um, probably Luke Skywalker was my favorite. But there's been a lot of good Skywalkers. That Skywalker uh, legacy. 
Let's see. Um, will I build the Beetlejuice Fun Pack from Rocco Perdenza? So I actually, I won't do a live build of it um, just because I already have it and it's already built. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have all the LEGO Dimensions packs from all the waves. I'm very, very excited to have everything. It's sad that it's over, but it is cool. The hard thing as a collector sometimes is knowing when the collection is done. <laughs> and at least I know that I have them all. There's no more exclusives or other things, so... We'll have to see. <laughs> Sophia Renteria asks, uh, did I see the new Yoda's hut set? So yeah, that was one of the most recent leaks and I have seen it. It does look pretty cool actually, considering that the last version of Yoda's hut was uh, not especially great. <laughs> I'm excited for this one because I think this one takes advantage of some more modern pieces, some more modern building techniques, which is always fun. That I mean, that's the one good thing about when, when Lego does remakes of sets. Like we just had the most Isley Cantina remake. And so we've had a lot of remakes, but at least... Uh, at least they try to update them with some new parts, some new minifigures. So it's usually it's usually a good thing that we get updates. All right. Lee says, you're my fave Lego builder ever. Well, I hope I'm not your favorite Lego builder, only because that there's so many really great Lego builders out there. But hopefully I'm one of your favorite Lego YouTubers, at least. Um, because, honestly, we have such a fun time here. So um, I just love everyone sticking around. All right. Let's add this other part now that I took care of some of those stickers. And there's still all these, there's still more stickers, guys. There's a lot of stickers in this set. All right. I love, we still have people jumping in. Um, let's see. We've got a comment here from Brick Star Wars Boy 10. Thoughts on the Sandcrawler coming in 2018? So I saw the leaked picture of the Sandcrawler coming in 2018. And I will say that I'm not super excited about it because it's a little bit smaller. Um, you know, it's hard when you get, like, one of the best versions of the Sandcrawler in the Ultimate Collector series, and then they give you a slightly less than version with this more mainline one. I mean, I am excited just because it's great to get another Sandcrawler, and it is great to get a Sandcrawler that maybe more people can afford. So, I mean, from an affordability standpoint, I think it's a great thing. I think... Like I said, the more people can afford these sets, the better, but still. All right. What is my favorite Lego franchise from Bricktastic Productions? So my favorite Lego franchise, like the ones that I get the most excited about, are probably the DC and Marvel superheroes ones. So I... I'm a big superhero person in general, so collecting every Marvel and DC set is really important to me. So those are probably the ones I would say, just because they're great. But, I mean, Star Wars is definitely part of it too, but I think that the superheroes ones are probably my favorite. All right. Um, if I reach, I don't even know how many subscribers, would I burn my Lego City? Don't do that, please. Uh, if I had a Lego City to burn, maybe, but I don't have a Lego City yet. I think it'd be really fun to do a Lego City, but I have never done one before. Do you think it's unfair that Lego Ideas announced a Disney set, a license they already have? Um, you know, they have the Disney license, but they've never made a Tron Legacy set. So, I mean, I was a big Tron Legacy fan, so I'm super excited about the set, so I don't have any problems. Let's see. Imaginative Donkey Boy asks, have you ever done a mock? So yeah, I have done mocks, um, not on my YouTube channel, but I did it um, I did it when I was a little bit younger. My favorite mocks that I ever made was uh, back when I worked at the Lego store. We've talked a little bit about that on the channel before that I used to work at the Lego retail store. But back when I worked at the Lego store, I made a Lego Batman utility belt that you could actually wear. So I would wear it around the store when I'd be helping everyone, and that was really fun for me. So I was super excited to build that one. So that was probably one of my favorites. And maybe maybe one day I'll show it off on the channel. I forget if I've shown it off on Instagram before, but I did show one of, some of my older mocks once on my Instagram story because I was at my parents' house going through some old stuff, and I found some of my old mocks. So who knows? Maybe one time I'll do like a, a story time with Talk Bricks where you get to see all my old mocks. <laughs> Any licenses you would personally want to see or return to Lego. Um, you know, I think that there's... I think I would love more Lord of the Rings sets. I, I never got as many of them as I would have liked. I think Harry Potter was would have definitely been on that list prior to all these rumors. So maybe some of those. Let's see. I just missed a question here. Um, what are my opinions on the Downtown Diner set? That's from AWM Lego Films. So I, I talked a little bit about it in my actual 
news update about the downtown diner, but I'm actually really, really impressed with the set. I think that the colors are really bold choices. The actual design, that kind of retro diner from the 1950s is just a really inspired design. I think it's probably one of the most unique sets we've seen from Lego, especially in the modular theme in a while. So yeah, I'm super excited about that one. All right. Um, how did I come up with the name of this channel from Juan Pablo? So the name of this channel, honestly, I just, I was planning on starting the channel and I was trying to think about names and it was actually one of the first things that came to me. <laughs> I was like, oh, like what if it was Talk Bricks? Um, and, and so I, and the second I said it, I knew it was the right name. And so I, I haven't looked back since. So I wish I had some more fantastic story, but it just dawned on me <laughs> and that was it. Let's see. Am I going to get the diner? That's from Master Sir Jim123. And I get, again, this goes back, we've talked about this a few times on even just this chat alone, but it's really hard to get expensive sets. Um, you know, it's hard to save up enough money for it, but even still, like, I could get the downtown diner or I could get both Black Panther sets and, you know, all the new Brickheads. And, you know, I mean, like, you can get so many sets for the same price as just one big set. I certainly, as I've gotten older, I think I've appreciated the big sets even more. I actually just built, um, not on a live stream, the Destiny's Bounty from the Ninjago movie, which is my favorite set. I love it so much. Um, and that was super fun. And there's something really cool about building a really big set, but it's very hard to buy a really big set. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Bricktastic Films 101 says, do you plan to get any of the new DC superhero sets? If so, which ones? And I'll probably get all of the DC superhero sets, the newer ones. Um, just because, like I said, superheroes is probably like my main theme, the one that I care about the most. So I'm definitely, I think I mixed up these sides <laughs> of the stickers. Um, so I'll probably be getting all of them. A lot of them also have Superman characters like Lex Luthor, which I really like, and Flash characters like Killer Frost, Reverse Flash. So I'll definitely be picking up most likely all of them. <laughs> I realize that that sounds probably a little obnoxious. Um, Lee asks, are you a fan of the Lego Flying Fox from Justice League? I'm not a huge fan of the set. I did end up picking it up um, only because I really wanted to just complete my Justice League set. It was the only set I didn't have from the line, so I did end up picking it up. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it only because I just don't think that it's the coolest looking build. But I do appreciate, um, I do appreciate that... We got some cool characters, and that's the set where you get the, you know, the big villain and all that stuff. So it's 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 a it's a good set from a completing your collection standpoint. But I think there's plenty of better sets that we've seen. I mean, obviously the Lego designers kind of have to work with what they get, but yeah, it's kind of a confusing set to me. All right, minor uh, stop from the chat only because I have to focus on this sticker. <laughs> all right, uh, let's see if I can get it off. For a second. Anyways, let's see. Do I like Black Panther's new suit? Yes, I do like Black Panther's new suit. Actually, he's got quite a few new suits in this new movie, so I'm super excited about that in general. Um, yeah, if you ever guys want to fix a sticker, you can do this with an X-Acto knife. It's pretty easy to peel them up then. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Black Panther suit is one of the more unique designs. I think, honestly, all the Black Panther costume designs look so cool, so I'm super excited for all of that. Let's see. How much would that set cost with fully printed pieces. Yeah, I mean, this set actually has a lot of stickers, so I'm sure it would be a lot more expensive if it had fully printed pieces. So honestly, they uh, they can't put every set with printed parts. It would just be very expensive. Have I seen the Infinity War set leaks from Ravina? Yes, I have seen them. Um, Pete H says, I'm your father. Wow, I don't tell my dad. <laughs> uh, Thompson S says, do you have the Doctor Who set? Yes, I do have the Doctor Who set, and it's one of my favorites. Um, I'm a big Doctor Who fan, and I was super excited when that set got announced. So, yeah, definitely have that one. Let's see. And a lot of people saying hey. A lot of people, new people joining in the chat, so welcome. Um, a manager of Donkey Boy says stickers are annoying. Uh, do I like the new DC minifigures from the new sets from QJ Music? I do, actually. I really like, um, I really like them. I think that... Uh, that they're, you know, I think it's one of those things where 
I love when they introduce slightly new designs. So, you know, whenever we get a new character, I get really excited about it. So I, this this line has a few different new characters, so I'm super excited about those. All right. And we've gotten here. Let's see. Um, will I ever review vintage sets from Hugo? Um, you know, it's hard because I think as much as I love the vintage sets and I have a lot of older sets too, I don't think people always come out to watch those videos. So it's hard, you know, if I only have so much time to make, um, you know, videos to make uh, any videos for the channel, I feel like my time might be better spent making videos about the more recent stuff. You know, as much as I would like to make videos about some of the older stuff. Let's see. Since, um... Uh, I love this comment. T to the T. T to the T. I think you definitely have to be up there in voices of Lego YouTubers. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, AWM Film says, Talk Break, since we got a Lego Batman movie wave two minifigure series, do you think that, that Lego will do the same with the Lego Ninjago movie? That's a really good question. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I think it's, it's not unlikely, so I, I'm never going to say no. But I think that the Lego Ninjago movie might not have done as well as they'd hoped. So I don't know if that impacts the ability for us to get another wave of those sets. So I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. All right. It's, it's very late for some people here who are watching. And a lot of people got some good stuff for Christmas. Uh, Imagine if Donkey Boy asks, is a Lego Star Wars CMF series possible? And I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that. And unfortunately, the answer is no. Um, the main reason being is that they consider these, um, you know, these minifigure series to be similar to action figures. And so I believe Hasbro has the license for Lego Star Wars action figures. And as a result, then they can't do a Lego series of just Star Wars characters because it would infringe upon the licensing agreement with Hasbro. So unfortunately, I don't think that's something we'll see anytime soon. That's even why um, like the magnets that they had for Star Wars at one point, they were all glued. So it's because we can't have them as action figures. All right. Somebody said I should do more streams. I agree. More streams in 2018. Um, let's see. Oh, my God. So many things coming by. Uh, do you think that LEGO Ideas would ever accept a custom minifigure series? I don't think so, um, only because I think that they, the LEGO company itself considers their sets to be more of a, uh, more than just the minifigures. You know, they, they love the builds, and I think that it'd be a shame if it was just minifigures. I mean, I would love it because minifigures are probably some of my favorite parts about sets, but I think that Lego in general would prefer an idea that also had a building component. Um, and I think I would too. Let's see. If Lego were to make any set from any superhero movie, what would it be? Um, maybe like which one would I want it to be? Um, I mean, I, let's think, let's think. I mean, I would love more sets from, um, like, some of the older Marvel movies. Like, we never got any from uh, Thor 1 or Captain America, like Winter Soldier or any of those ones. Well, actually, we got that, um, the Helicarrier that was, I guess, Winter Soldier themed. But I don't know. I could use some more uh, <laughs> uh, sets that were directly from some of those older movies for sure. All right. Let's see. Would I... Enter more Lego idea sets. I've never entered a Lego idea set, but I do support them. Did you have to contact uh, Lego for replacement parts last year? No, I did not. Um, let's see. Um, do, um, what's my favorite movie? So, I mean, I've got a lot of favorite movies, uh, but I did mention that, uh, Back to the Future was one of them. So maybe I'll say Back to the Future, but I really love so many movies. It's hard to pick just one. What is the best Lego set in your opinion? Um, I, it's hard for me to pick bests or favorites of things, but I guess one of my favorites that I own is the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ. I also really love the Ninjago movie Destiny's Bounty. That's kind of a current favorite of mine. So I'll say those for now. All right. What about a Thor Asgard set? That would be super fun. Um, the Lego Movie 2 is coming in February 2019. Ooh, then it might be coming out for my birthday then, because my birthday's in February too. So I'm okay with that. 
Optimi Maximi says, what is the biggest Lego set that I own? Um, so I have the Ghostbusters Firehouse HQ. I have the Avengers Helicarrier. I also have um, the latest Lego Death Star. So I'm guessing the Death Star is probably technically my biggest set. Um, oh no, my sticker sheet fell. <laughs> All right. Um, trying to find it. I can't see it. It must have gone under something. I've got a ton of stuff on my floor here. It's always more complicated. Okay, I found the stickers, guys. <laughs> All right. So let's see which questions I missed while I was picking up the stickers. Um, thoughts on solo sets. Um, really looking forward to some of those sets. Some very cool uh, minifigures for sure. So definitely stay tuned for more info on that for me. Pete H says, what camera um, do I use? Uh, so when I'm live streaming, I just use my phone, um, which is an iPhone. And then the camera I use for most of my videos is a Canon. Uh, it's a camcorder. I'm not exactly sure the exact model, though. But that's what I want to, that I use for my videos, like my hauls and other videos that I do. Let's see. Um, am I... Uh, I'm still waiting for Lego Indiana Jones sets. Am I excited? Yeah. Indiana Jones 5, you know, we do know it's coming, so I would not be surprised if we're going to get some Lego sets from it. Um, I hope it's also a good excuse for them to make sets from the old movies. You know, maybe that's just me. Um, Lee asks, do I like Family Guy? Um, yeah, I used to. I, I don't keep up on it anymore, so I can't say that I do anymore, but I definitely used to like it a lot. But, yeah, growing up, that was one of my favorite shows. What if Lego made a Lego Marvel movie? So they have made some like more direct-to-consumer online Lego movies, those sorts of things. So I wouldn't be surprised if we got more of those. But I don't know that we'll be getting a Lego like feature-length movie with Marvel. Um, I mean, Star Wars was in the uh, Lego movie. I don't believe Marvel was. So I would not be surprised if we if we don't get that. Just because I think... Marvel, Disney, you know, sometimes they're very particular over where their characters can be shown and all that sort of stuff. So you never know. Have I ever entered the community characters for Lego Marvel 2 on the review channel? No, I've never done anything like that. Um, let's see. What Lego theme would I bring back from the dead? We talked about this a little bit earlier and uh, definitely was reminded of Indiana Jones. So I would love to bring Indiana Jones back. That would be a fun one. And it sounds like that's probably going to happen anyway. So... Good for me. <laughs> All right. Do I ever play Pokemon? That's from Think Copy Gaming. I used to really uh, make, uh, or I used to play a lot of Pokemon growing up. I grew up with the red and blue versions back on the old Game Boy, and I was a huge fan of those. I even, I think the last one though I played was X and Y on 3DS. So that was the last one that I've played. But it's because it's hard because you, you have to put a lot of time into those games. <laughs> and let's see. Would I buy the Harry Potter 2018 sets? That's from Andrew Garrett. Yeah, I definitely would buy the um, Harry Potter sets. I'm just a huge Harry Potter fan in general. So I love I love that we're getting more Harry Potter sets. I'm not going to lie. I'm super excited about it. All right. Am I going to build the other Black Panther set in a live stream? Um, I haven't decided yet, but maybe. How, uh, why did I get into Lego from Juan Pablo? Um, I mean, I was always a huge fan of Lego as a kid. Um, you know, my parents obviously bought me some sets when I was growing up, and I was just obsessed with Lego. I've always been a huge fan. I, I worked at the Lego store growing up. It was my first uh, job in high school because I was like, there's, I could work at a, at a store and sell Lego all day. It was like, it sounded like the best job ever. So, yeah, I mean, Lego's always just been a big part of my life. All right. Would I ever enter a Lego Ideas set? That's from Sophia. Um, if I had a good idea, I might. But I don't have a great idea. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe one day. Um, Talk Bricks. Which Black Panther set do you like more, this set or the Royal Talon Fighter? Um, I probably like, in terms of just the set itself, the Royal Talon Fighter, just because I think the build is more interesting. Um, but this one could arguably come with, with uh, better minifigures than the other one. Um... Just because I think getting the two uh, kind of in-suit characters are pretty cool. But obviously we do get a great Killmonger in the other set. And Nakia is really great. So, you know, it's a, it's a pretty tough choice. I think that they these are appropriately priced sets. They're really reasonable. And such that 
Uh, I think you could probably get both of them and feel pretty comfortable in terms of not breaking the bank and getting a lot of good ones. All right. Andrew Garrett asks, do you have the UCS Falcon? Uh, sadly, I do not have the UCS Falcon. I, I have been to the Lego store when they've had it in stock, but $800 is a lot of money to spend on one Lego set. That being said, it's definitely like a dream set to have. I think... You know, I missed the original Lego Millennium Falcon, and I said kind of if I ever got the chance to get it again, I would try to get it. So I I'm, I am not going to run out and buy it right away, but I'll never say that I'll never own it because there might be a very tempted uh, person I <laughs> – that I or tempted – I might be a very tempted person one day and then eventually want to buy it. Um, let's see. What was the first set I ever built? I think a lot of people have said that. And I, uh, I'm i not – I can't remember what the first one was. I mean, I remember having a lot of the older sets, um, like even back to some of the classic pirate sets and a lot of the classic castle sets, like the forest men and things like that. So I'm sure it was somewhere around there. That's my um, my assumption. All right. We're getting to it, guys. Coming on towards the end. I'm realizing I'm missing a lot of uh, pieces because I just put on the stickers and then attached them and stopped building. All right, let's see. I missed a question here in the chat. Um, new Brickheads ideas from QJ Music. Um, I think that I would love to get like um, – I, I think that Brickheads are kind of meant to look like Funko Pop figures. And so I sort of feel like if you're going to do the Funko Pop thing, then you have to do – like a bunch of series all at once, like, you know, make Back to the Future ones, make more Star Wars ones, make, um, you know, other classic characters. So I think that there's so many ones that they could do. I think that I would be very interested in more of the classic stuff, stuff that they've had themes of before, but they haven't done in a while. I think that'd be kind of fun. Ghostbusters, other things like that. Humor00 asks, what is my favorite Lego movie? So my favorite Lego movie is probably the original Lego movie, um, just because it was so good. Um, it's one of those movies that I think we all just didn't even expect. I mean, even as a huge Lego fan, I was probably more worried than excited for that movie because I just didn't even know how it would go. But I think it turned out so well. It's so funny and it's so well done that, yeah, I'm just a huge fan. All right. So we've got this last headpiece ready to go, and I'm going to bend it down one, and then I realize I must have forgotten to add this piece somewhere, and we're all done. So look at that rhino. Pretty cool, actually. This was a pretty substantial build. There's a lot of pieces in this. Very cool. Since we got Brickheads for the Lego Batman movie and the Lego Ninjago movie, do you think the Lego will do the same for the Lego movie sequel? Assuming Brickheads is still a line then? Yeah, absolutely. Just because I think that sometimes Lego lines don't last forever. Um, as you guys know, they usually last like a year or two. Um, Ninjago was one of those like famous exceptions where it was going to be canceled just like a normal uh, theme was, but it did really well, and so they had to keep it going. Um, let's see. How much was this set? It was only $20. I feel like I might have said that. Um, and then... Dalek Brick says, this set looks awesome. Can't wait to get it. That one does look very cool. And will I, redu will I do a review on my thoughts on the 2018 sets? Yeah, I'll be talking a bit more about 2018 sets in some of my upcoming videos. I'm actually going to be working on another video tonight that will hopefully go out tomorrow or the next day. So stay tuned for that. Um, but this set turned out pretty cool. I really like the Rhino build. That's pretty fun. This little section of track is, you know, not the most exciting build, but it's actually a bit larger than I would have thought. And if you hit this button, I guess well, that didn't work especially well. Let's see. Nope. I can't figure out how to make this work on a live stream. <laughs> uh, a lot of people are saying that the set looks great. Uh, Thompson, the, or the original Doctor Who set, I believe, was $60, but I don't believe you can get it anymore, so it probably cost you a little bit more on the aftermarket. Let's see. Am I friends with Just Too Good or Brick Bros UK? Um, I'm not, I've never had any contact with Brick Bros UK, um, so I would say no, but uh, I have talked with Just Too Good. He's a nice dude. All right. In making Lego videos, do I have to sponsor Lego for the sets? No, <laughs> you can just make videos about whatever you want. That's the fun part. Um, did I do 3 a.m. videos before? No, I, I've, I've never made a video 
at 3 a.m. I remember I made some videos that uh, lasted me almost until 3 a.m., like when I was working on some of my old Lego Scooby-Doo reviews. I was one of the first people to get those. So I was working um, <laughs> I was working till like 2 a.m. working on those videos. Um, am I in contact with Brick Vault? No, I'd love to be. They're really great people. I watch them on their live streams sometimes. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are asking if I know all these YouTubers, but I don't know everyone. <laughs> Let's see. We've got some more questions here. I'll take a couple more questions and then I'll probably head off. Imagine if Donkey Boy says, do I have a pet? No, I don't have a pet. I just have a really big Lego habit. Um, Deluxe Comics says, do I like the Last Jedi movie? Yeah, I did like it. It was a really fun movie. What do I use to edit videos from Thompson? I use iMovie, um, just the standard iMovie on, um, on a Mac computer. And uh, PDH says a UCS Porg. Yeah, I, we did just find out there's going to be a 10-inch Porg Funko figure, so who knows? Uh, Amare Amane asks, how many Legos do you have? Uh, oh my gosh, I've, I have so many, I, I couldn't even, I wouldn't even know where to start. Will this video be available after the live stream? Yep, it will be available after the live stream, so feel free to let me a comment to let me know that you were here. Chef Alex says, should Lego make a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers set to celebrate the show's 25th anniversary? Definitely. I was a huge Power Rangers fan back in the day, so I would never say no to that. Um, do I want Lego Disney ride sets in the future from Paolo? That'd be fun. Honestly, some, some old classic uh, sets or some cool characters that are theme park exclusive. I would never say no to that. Like a Haunted Mansion set? That'd be fun. What is better, Marvel or DC? Why can't we like both of them, right? What Star Wars set needs to be made into a UCS set? Um, maybe Starkiller base. That would be a cool UCS set. Do I collect anything other than Lego from Deluxe Comics? Yeah, I collect probably too many things. Um, I, I collect Funko Pops. I collect other action figures. So, yeah, a lot of different things. Um, what Marvel movie am I most excited for? Um, I mean, right now, Black Panther, but Infinity War is probably the one I'm most excited for overall. Cannot wait. Let's see. I'll take maybe just a couple more questions. Um, a Leia poly bag from The Last Jedi would be cool. Totally. Uh, Tanner Troy says, can you show us your whole Lego collection? I would, but it, they're not even all on display. A lot of them I've even taken apart just to save room. I, I keep them in sealed bags so I can always rebuild them. But yeah, oh my gosh, I, I, I wish I could. Um, am I an inbox collector of Funko Pops? Yes, I always keep them in the boxes. Peach Lock Co says, do you know Small Soldiers? Yeah, I do know that one. Really fun. Can I write a letter for you of why you'll be late for work? Oh, T to the T, get to work. <laughs> um, what characters do I hope to see in Series 18 from Fernando? Actually, we already have a rumored list of all the characters, so um, I'm not sure I'm going to even get to decide. <laughs> what set am I excited for in 2018? I'm probably most excited for the Infinity War sets. Um, super excited about that. And I'll answer, let's see, one more question here. What's my opinion on Ant-Man and the Wasp from Thompson02? I think that it's going to be really fun. The first movie was really great, and I can't wait to see this next movie. We are getting a set from the movie, rumored. Uh, we're rumored to get a set, so I can't wait to see that. But overall, can't wait to get a Wasp figure in addition to maybe an updated Ant-Man one. Wouldn't say no to that. Anyways, let's uh, I'll leave it there. Uh, there's so many great questions, so definitely save these things for my next live stream, which will hopefully be soon. But thank you so much. Honestly, the fact that you guys like to sit here and hang out with me while we build sets is like my favorite thing in the world. You guys make everything worth it for me. So thank you so much for all your support. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers, guys. We almost did it. So I think I'm maybe 200, 250 subscribers away. So if you have any friends that are into Lego, definitely send them over to my channel because, you know, It'd be cool if we could make it to 20,000. That'd be really fun. A lot of people are saying bye, that I should do another stream soon. So I'll definitely do another one soon. May the force be with you guys. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Take care, everyone. Bye.